Good evening, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the partially mask-wearing militant state of Michigan. Giving you the sights and sounds of Sherman Boulevard on a Saturday evening. We have to go back in the time machine a little bit to a governor and I think he was a representative from the great state of Louisiana. His name was Edwin, Edwin Edwards. <clears throat> he was a very popular politician. He was a Democrat, one of the last of the Huey Long political machine, I guess, members, you could say. Not only was he very popular, but he was also corrupt, spent some time in federal prison, but the dude pulled serious tail. Serious tale, so so props to him. But as popular as he was, and I guess as corrupt as he was, Edwards was very popular for his one-liners, his sound bites. He had some great sound bites. And one, and I think it made it into the movie, I think it was The Fifth Estate, with Russell Crowe and Ben Affleck, and... Uh, I can't think of her name. It was Sean Penn's wife. She was in House of Cards later on. But anyways, um, the line was, it, it was in his 1983 campaign when he, he said the only way he could lose is if he was found in bed with a dead girl or a live boy. And he did win that election. But time has gone by. And it's 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 time to update that that soundbite. We need to update that soundbite. And the sound the soundbite should be uh, the only way you could lose is if you're found in bed with a dead girl or a live boy, or you make abortion part of your platform. So that brings us to tonight's main character, Mike Pence. Why these idiot politicians do this, I don't know. But I guess I, I've decided that abortion is more of a moral issue than it is a political issue. And there is no right answer. It's it's very to me it's it's become very similar to the minimum wage, where somebody says, Well, the minimum wage is too low and um we need to raise the minimum wage from $10 an hour to $15 an hour because that would be good. And then someone says, well, if $15 an hour is good, why isn't 20 better? Well, how about 25? Wouldn't it be great if it was 25 an hour? And abortion is the same thing. Abortion is coming along the same lines. So anyways, Mike Pence, and, and to me, it's just a uh, abortion the the abortion issue politically is nothing more than a than a anchor with a chain on it wrapped around your neck and mike pence is calling for a nationwide abortion ban after 15 weeks and he's challenging he's challenging all the other republican candidates to join him on this 15 week abortion ban. He wants the rest of them to put that weight, that chain and anchor around their neck and commit political suicide. I mean, what would be the next logical question to ask Mike Pence? Well, if 15 is good, wouldn't eight weeks be better? I mean, seriously, Mike, Mike Mr. Vice President, wouldn't eight weeks be better? What about we just ban it completely? I mean, isn't that really, really what you would hope for? And as far as it being a political issue, notwithstanding the uh, the 15 weeks is good, but eight weeks would be better, um, just ask Tudor Dixon how the abortion platform went. I mean, she was literally crucified for hers in her... Um, perfect example that was taken out of context but 
eventually she said, uh, hey, you know, we've got to table this abortion thing. We got to set it aside for now. It is a non-win political issue. You know, I, I don't I don't really care about your feel, you know, personal opinions. Everyone's gonna have a different one. No one can agree on it. It's it's not a good political issue. And why they want to continue to go down this road is beyond me. If if the election was only Republicans voting and they whatever the Republicans said, that's fine. Then hey, it's a it's a winning platform. But there's too many people and too many opinions and no one can agree. It's political suicide. Not that Mike Pence had that big of a chance to win. He was in the race, so he had a chance. But any chance he had at winning, he just lost. So why would anybody, why would anybody join this guy when they know they would be the next one to go over, uh, go over the side of the boat with the anchor on the, around their neck, just speeding to the bottom of the ocean? It's it's just stupid. I don't know why they continue to push this. It's a moral issue, Mike. You know, it's gonna it. The abortion issue is going to be solved in the afterlife. It's not going to be solved here. That's going to be between uh, God and, and, and uh, individuals. It's not going to be solved politically. So with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.